Hello, this is Parks Monster Database and today I'm going to talk about the Knight of the Ninja series, the three five-star monsters in the Hatcher, and the first one I'm going to talk about is Hanzo. So, we don't have the information on our website yet, we're like writing the guides on them, the pros, cons, and summary, so before that's out, I'll be talking about it. I'm going to do like a rush translation from AppBank, a Japanese website, so I apologize if the guides are not out and if you guys are looking for it, but we're trying to make it as soon as possible. Thanks for waiting. So let's start. So pretty much the 5 star version of the Hanzo is a speed type, he's a no gravity barrier, stars are pretty decent, and his strike shot is pretty much, he increases his own speed at a 13 turn cooldown, and his bump combo is a homing 12. So just looking at it, he has really great stats, so that's like the 5 star. So let's talk about his regular evolution first. So his regular evolution. Well, looking at his stats alone, great stats, 24k HP, around 27k attack, and 400-ish speed. So, great stats, I mean. If you're able to bounce it off wall, up and down, or side to side, against the boss, I'm pretty sure he can do a tons of damage. And, if, same with the, uh, his pre-evolution, his ability is no gravity barrier, so it kinda works with his um, stat set. So what's his strike shot? In a, it's a 19 cooldown and pretty much he has a really unique uh, strike shot. <sighs> Honestly, he has great stats and his ability, his bump combo is homing 18, which is really nice too for clearing small minions or small monsters. The only thing that's uh, a negative about him is his strike shot. It's It doesn't do any damage. It's like a unique structure for where for one turn he avoids any projectile damages, so such as uh, spread shots, missiles, the shot off from the small boss or the boss. But I'm not sure, but I believe he doesn't block explosions or lasers, which makes this structure really unique. And that makes that's like the only con about this character, honestly. This is his strike shot. He has great stats. And he has a bump bump combo that's really great too, an ability that matches with his stats. But it's a strike shot that kind of brings him down in Japanese ratings. In Japan, I believe his regular evolution is about 8.0, I believe. That's I think that's it. So let's talk about his ascended form. So in Japan, people prefer the ascended form over the regular evolution. It's because he all he has a no gravity barrier, but he also gets a gate shot, which is a no warp. I believe um, you guys know Izanami, right? Like one of the hardest dungeons that's supposed to come out in NA, which is a 60 stamina dungeon. The next one is supposed to be Kushinada. And in Kushinada, there's a ton of gravity barriers and warps. And I believe he might be one of the best monsters to be used in the Kushinada run. He has a no warp and gravity barrier, which perfectly counters the obstacles. And not only that, he's a fire element monster, so he will be dealing more damage and receiving less damage from the Kushinada dungeons, which is really great. The only thing, well, he has the same strike shot as a regular evolution where uh, he doesn't take any projectile damages, 19 cooldown, and his bump combo is a homing 18, same as the regular evolution, plus he gets a spread shot L3. So pretty much he's great for clearing small minions. And uh, yeah, I guess for him, for the Sendage form, same as the regular evolution, his strike shot is like the only con. And maybe his uh, lack of HP, he doesn't even hit 20k even with the Morling, so to make up for his low HP, you have to bring other monster that has high HP. But I guess his stats, his bump combo, and his ability makes up for it. Regular evolution was 8.0, and I believe the Sendage form is 8.5, a little bit higher because of his uh, gauge shot, anti-warp, and he goes great with the Kushinada run. So if people got him, I recommend the Sendage form. And for Ascended Form, I believe you need the monster Orochimaru and Inugami, which is coming out in a couple days. So look out for that. If you do get him, try to get the Ascended Material. And if the Kushinada run comes out, put him as your number one monster and let me use it because I will be needing Kanza for the Kushinada run. So the second monster I want to talk about is Koga Ninja Sasuke. So he's a Pierce type with a Demi Hume ability. Um, I mean, any Slayer ability is nice to have, but the only thing is, even in Japan, there is not much demi human type monsters, so it's really hard to bring him into a dungeon. And if you and this is five star form, stats are at most decent. His strike shot is a speed up at a 13 to a cooldown, and he has a vertical laser L for his bump combo, the one that goes up and down. So let's look at his regular evolution first. So 
I'll say this right now, uh, out of the ascended form or the regular evolution, regular evolution is far better. I believe 90% of the players in Japan pick the regular evolution over the ascended form. It's because he gets two abilities, which is no warp and no damage wall, which is great to have. I mean, he becomes versatile in a couple of dungeons and having a Geisha is really nice. If you look at his stats, his speed is pretty high, of course, because of this speed type monster, but his attack and HP is at most decent. It's not great. It's not too bad. It's just decent. I mean, have, being a pierce type with such high speed is really useful, but um, in my opinion, there are far more better dark element monsters that outclasses him. And I guess I'll talk I can talk about his strike shot bump combo. So his strike shot is 18 turn cooldown and it's pretty much increases his power and speed, which can be used in certain situations. I mean if you're right like right next to the boss and if you do use the strike shot, I guess you could deal a good amount of damage, but because he's not a, a bounce type monster, his damage will be minimal. That's my honest opinion. Oh wow. The game date changed, so let me just go back. Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry for the game day change. So let's talk about his bump combo. So his bump combo is the same as his 5-star uh, form. It's a vertical laser L. That one, a laser that goes up and down, but a bit more firepower. So I guess his con would be, um, he's at most just like a whatever monster. I mean, if you do get him, I guess it's nice to have him in your arsenal, in your monster box, but there are going to be other dark mon element monsters that outclasses him. That's like the only thing about his con. His strike shot isn't that impressive, stats are decent, so not the best, not the worst, just overall normal, like a normal monster. And I believe he had like an 8.0 in Japan, in Japan, I believe that's what his score was. So let's move on to his ascension form. So Ascension form, um, unlike his regular evolution, he loses the new warp and new damage wall and he gets a damage room slayer. And like I said on the regular evolution, and even in Japan, uh, damage room dungeons are not that popular right now in Japan. So if you do ascend him, I would say you won't be able to use it in a while. I mean, you could bring him to Momotaro and uh, the past dungeons, but there are far more better monsters to counter those dungeons. And that is why people prefer the regular evolution over the ascended form. I mean, yeah, even look at him, yeah, looking at his stats, it's only decent at most. Like, nothing special about his stats. And But his strike shot changes. Instead of increasing power and speed, it's like a risk mine just where if you hit the first monster, it does like a good amount of damage. I don't know how much damage, but I guess if you hit the weak spot, it'll do about 600k damage. That's what I'm guessing. Looking at his bump combo, he gets the same vertical laser L, same attack damage, but he also gets a spread shot L3. So I guess that's kind of helpful in killing small monster and dealing extra damage to the boss. So my opinion about Sasuke, nothing special about him. His regular evolution is 8.0 and his ascended form is a 7.5 in Japan. I mean, I guess you could use him, but there will be better monsters than him in the future. And I believe, yeah, he's at most decent. So I'll be talking about the third monster next. So the third monster I want to talk about is Saizo. Um, out of the three 5 star monsters, I believe she had the lowest rating in Japan. And I'll be explaining why, I guess. So, translating this webpage, her ability is no damage wall for her 5 star form. And judging from the stats, nothing special. And Strike Shot is the same as the other two monsters, it increases his, her own speed by 13 turns. And her bump combo is a cross AX laser M. So, I guess, that, I guess, yeah, I guess out of all the bump combos, um, EX laser and might be the strongest. That's what I believe at least. So let's go look at her regular evolution already. Okay, so for her regular evolution, her abilities change a bit. Um, she will get a, a Demon's Bane, which means a Demon Slayer. And she also gets a Gauge Shot, which gets her no damage wall. So I guess that's helpful for having high speed. And looking at her stats, um, I mean, her HP is on the low side, her speed is so-so compared to the other two monsters, but hmm, with the gay shot, I believe her attack damage will go around up to 25k, which I guess could be used in a good way if you bounce off walls and stuff, or against a uh, demon type monster, she'll be, she'll be able to do a lot of damage. I think her strike shot is similar to Sanada Yukimura and Susano. 
It's where while she moves around, I think she shoots out multiple sp spread shots. From I do have Sonado, Yukimura, and Susano, and using their strike shot, it's only effective if you're bouncing off the wall, like a small wall against the boss. Then you'll be able to deal about 800k damage, but other than that, I mean, I guess it's good for cleaning out small minions because it shoots everywhere, but nothing special about her strike shot. You have to be able to use it at a close range to be able to deal a good amount of damage. And her bump combo becomes EX Laser L. And I believe out of most of the EX Lasers L's, she has uh, one of the higher attack damage for the EX Laser. Well, I'm talking like she's really good, but having a Demon's Bane, I guess it's good in some dungeons, but it limits her to bring it to other dungeons because of Demon's Bane. And if there's a gravity barrier, she completely stops and sh it'll be hard to use at a gravity barrier uh, dungeon. So, I yeah, that's a that's a con, I guess. And even though I said her attacks are a bit high, there are way better water element monsters that outclasses her easily. So, I guess, yeah, if you don't have any water monsters, then she's good to have. But if you have, like, Odin, Marguerite, Oda X, then they outclass her. That's my con for her. And let's go, let's go look at her ascended form. So as her ascended form, she loses Demon Bane from her regular evolution, but she only gets the anti -da dual damage one. That's her ability. And judging from her stats, um I think she gets 40 more speed than the regular evolution. And I think the damage is around the same. You do get a full gauge shot on her regular evolution. And same as the regular evolution, I believe she shoots a spread shot while moving around. And with the cross laser L, EX laser L, she also gets a vertical laser S, which helps with some damage. But, oh I haven't said it, but um, in Japan I believe she's a 7.5 for the regular evolution and she's a 7.0 for the ascended form. And that is because, like I said on the regular evolution, many many monsters outclass her in terms of stats strike shot bum combo so she's only good if you don't have any water monsters that's my honest opinion on her um if you do get her on a hatcher i guess you could get happy because she's a five star but she's pretty much it if you get a better water monster she's easily replaced and that is why she gets such a low rating if with the new patches japan's been having there's just a ton of monsters that outclasses her so um, for now I guess she's usable, but as NA patches and get, gets closer to the uh, JP patch, then she's gonna get outclassed by tons of monster. So which which one is better, regular or ascended? Um, regular is a lot better. It's because they both have a no damage wall, but the regular evolution also has a demon's bane, and I guess you could bring her to a dungeon where the boss is a demon type monster to deal extra damage. That's pretty much it. That is why people prefer the regular evolution over the ascended form in J Japan. Because of the extra ability. So I did like a brief some uh, pros, con, and my own opinion on these monsters. And my honest opinion is besides Hanzo, the first monster I introduced, everything else is lackluster. I mean, decent. St the other two monsters are decent stats, but their abilities make it so you can only bring them to certain dungeons. While Hanzo, he has a new warp and gravity barrier, which are great, and there will be a lot of dungeons that includes warps and gravity barriers. So he's, I guess he's the most versatile out of the three ninjas. So and he'll be useful for the Kushinada, right? And I keep saying Kushinada because Kushinada is the 10, ten out of ten in Japan, and she's she is one of the best monsters in Japan. So you want to get her if she does come out, and Hanzo will be a great help if you do get him. So I want to try rolling once and see what I get. And I pro I have low hopes in getting a five star because I've been getting so much four stars. But let's see what I get. What I want is Hanzo. That is what I want. I mean, he looks he looks so cool, and he acts the best out of the three monsters. So let's see. Okay, it's a gold egg. Let's see what I get. Um, okay, well, honestly, I'm only going to be rolling once for this hatchet because I believe there will be better hatchet users coming out in the future, and I don't think it's it's a good idea to use all my orbs here. 
So I got a Krish Piper. Well, I'm probably going to sell her right now. I do I do have a little bit more orbs that I will be saving them because I don't want to waste waste them on this hatches. Yeah, it's Besides the besides Hanzo, everything else is lackluster. That's my honest opinion on this hatchet series. It's not that great. Well, well, that uh, five orbs got me three thousand gold. I guess that's sort of worth. Well, that was the ninja ninja hatchet series explanation. I don't know if I did a good job, but I tried my best. And in the future, I'll try to speak more clearly and get better with the explanation. So, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe to our channel and follow us on Twitter. Thanks for always supporting Monstrike Database. Thanks and peace out, guys.